Yo, what's pop? And we are back on Showdown. And today I bring to you all a team with Lapras. I've always enjoyed the original 151 Pokemon and seeing them still put in work all the way to the 8th generation is just fantastic. Now I'd like for you all to leave a comment to outplay the algorithm and let me know what your favorite Pokemon from the original 151 is. I'd like to know. Or just leave a comment to support since I look forward to hearing from you all as always. Take a look at this Lapras here, right? We got the nice intricate Eevee spread, of course. Heavy duty boots so that we don't take rocks damage upon switching. And water absorbed. So initially, actually, I was running... Um, hydration plus rain dance rest so that we could heal and cure our sleep immediately but I'm actually running water absorb instead and the reason is because we can actually with water absorb trap flip turn swampert so they can't escape the Paris trap from uh, our ability so that's always nice though if they keep spamming it and we do switch out they'll switch out so we have to sack Lapras in that case but however you know it's nice to be able to use Lapras to get rid of a Pokemon and that's what we're gonna try to do with uh, this video so as you can see we also have block now block instead of whirlpool right whirlpool Paris song is what you'd expect but whirlpool sometimes misses i've missed it quite a few times on a crucial toxpex trap for instance so i want to be able to guarantee the trap so block will do just that 100 accuracy i don't think it misses at all you can't use it on ghost types though because uh ghost types cannot be trapped and um yeah you can just uh trap stuff paris trap things Protect so that we can get an extra turn of nothing happening in a Paris turn um, going by and then rest to heal ourselves up and we also have aromatherapy on this team as well so that's why I opted not to run the um, hydration set I'm actually running rest with um, cleric support and a spadef set here is actually great because it allows us to sponge hits from stuff like AV uh, Glarian Sloking we can trap things like Toxapex, Glarian Sloking we can trap... Uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff. You'll see. You'll see in this video. Hopefully, we can get some good matchups for it. But then I paired it with an AV Slowbro. So I wanted a nice regenerator pivot for the team that wasn't Slowking since I just used that one. AV Slowbro is really nice because um, it has enough defense so that we can check Cinderace really well. And also is able to, you know, throw off some nice Scald Burns here and there. Future Sight things, force things out. Ice Beam and Flamethrower are nice too because Flamethrower is doing a lot of damage to things like Ferrothorn, which could be kind of annoying for the team otherwise. So yeah, then I have that Pokemon here, which is also a good sponge to things like, maybe, I guess also Tapu Lele, right? Because we can take the Psychic Attacks and Moonblast, we could probably sponge it with AV. Then I have Zarude, which is there for Spectrier, Suicune, all sorts of stuff. Very good Pokemon overall. Now that Urshifu's banned, I think uh, you'll see a lot more Spectrier in the tier. So I wanted a Pokemon like Zarude so that we can um, sort of check it well. And a bulk upset does that just fine. Clefable for, like I said, um, aromatherapy, clericking uh, our Lapras. And also because of unaware, right? Because we, we have Lapras here, which might go for rest. It'll go to sleep and then it's dead weight. So another Pokemon could try to set up. That's why we have unaware Clefable, which I think works really, really well with the team. And then, um, yeah, then we have Corviknight, which is there for defogging purposes. And then finally, Rhyperior, which I love a lot because it's just such a great Pokemon overall. You know, set up rocks. It it deals with Zapdos, Moltres, certain Magirna sets as well. Volcarona. Very nice Pokemon overall. And that's going to be the squad. So the team has evolved quite a bit. It started off as something and it changed into something else. Let me just say, like, at first it, it looked a lot like Stall. This one, it's kind of maybe more semi-Stall. Maybe more balanced as well. But I'm thinking more semi-Stall just because there's a lot of bulk, bulky walls to it. Not much uh, raw offense, but... There's still offensive presence, at least. There's still, like, you know, you can hit hard with Slowbro. You can hit pretty hard with Rhyperior, Zarude, and Combine Clefable. Um, pretty interesting team we got here. We have a uh, two grounds, two electrics. And, yeah, let's just lead with uh, Slowbro here to start it off. An Ice Beam turn one. I love leading with Slowbro on this team. It's just uh, very effective, I would say. So, yep, Garchomp gone immediately. So that's not a threat anymore. Reggie Alecki comes in. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to click Future Sight here. <laughs> Predict him. I want to switch out. And then Flamethrower now. Let's try to get some nice damage on this Ferrothorn. And it's going to be a 2 at KO. So that is beautiful. Get rid of that Pokemon immediately. Volk comes in here. I think the play would be um, to go Lapras. Perish Song because this thing is a problem. Protect. Check this play out. Check this play out, though. Check this play out. Block here so that he can't switch. 
<laughs> so now he's forced to stay in. And we just Paris trapped a plus two Volcarona with the Lapras. That is wild. And I go Clefable because it's unaware. So he fiery dances here. Yep. Not bad at all. You love to see it. Um, and now I just sack this thing because I don't need it anymore. He's actually physical, which is pretty interesting, I must say. Nice heat. A mixed set. Okay. <laughs> now that's too wild. Okay, that's too wild. I'll go slow bro here as the earthquake comes out. I'm just going to scald. And then uh, we have a Rhyperior, so we can go into that. But he just goes back to Nido King here. I go slow bro. So either way, I mean, we walled it because our Spidef is really good too. So that thing is burned now. So I don't think he can beat us anymore. But Lapras coming through for the first game, saving us from a Volcarona sweep. You love to see it. Yeah, and then Rhyperior beats the two Electrics, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's toxic, but you know, it's uh, still pretty good. I just SD up and Rock Blast here. Yeah, thankfully no Hurricane Confusions. I'm going to Earthquake here. Yep. Nice and predicted. And that's GG. So, good game for the first one. Quick first game at that. And, uh, I mean, Lapras did the work. Lapras put in that fine, fine work. Continuing on now as always. So, another thing to note. This team does not have any legendary Pokemon. Zarud is a mythical Pokemon. <laughs> it's not a legendary. <laughs> so... I will not be legendary noob in this video. But this guy must be. Look at this team. That's crazy. Nah. Um, I think what we could do is just lead with Slowbro. Turn 1 I think is fine. Carton is actually a pretty big threat to this team. But I needed the members of this team. Because they do the finest of work. I'm going to Scald here. As Cartana comes in immediately. That's crazy. Please burn this thing. Please. Unfortunate. I go Corviknight, and then I just Roost here. So this thing's already chipped down quite a bit, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, that's fantastic. He predicted Rhyperior, I'm pretty sure. That's why he went into it. I should have gone for a Flamethrower, actually. I mean, that might have been nice. Uh, Magirna is in. What is this thing going to do? I'm not sure. I'm going to go Slowbro as a pivot. I don't want to go hard Rhyperior in case it's uh, choice. Choice Specs. So I go slow, bro. Uh, that's choice specs. Okay, so good to know. Now I kind of know how to play around it. There's still a bunch of like pretty broken mons in the tier. I think Magirna's pretty broken. There are just a lot of sets, a lot of great sets to it. Landers comes in here, but we have a good switch into like most stuff, I think. It's when your opponent has like a couple grasses, couple electrics. Things start to get a little bit uh, interesting. I want to keep myself at full health. I need to like whenever you're playing with um, this team versus Cartanas, you have to keep Corviknight really healthy. That's what you got to do. He just to discharge here. That's fine. Now I can just click a uh, pretty safe Rock Blast, I think. Or I could Stealth Rocks here. I'll get Rocks up here. So we can apply some pressure with the chip. I think the, the Zapdos is the Defogger, I'm pretty sure. If this is Rocks, I'll probably Defog though, because I don't want Corvidai taking chip every time it comes in. So another thing I'm excited about is that he has a Toxapex, which I really want to try to trap. I'm going to see if we can do it. <laughs> I'm going to see if it is at, at all possible. Magirna is in. So we know this is choice specs. I'm going to go slow, bro. As he flash cannons. This is beautiful. I can now future sight here. Um, and then go Corviknight to regen. Heal myself up real quick. Zapdos comes in, takes the future sight. Nice, nice, nice. So we go Rhyperior now as he roosts. Um, I'm going to go into... Actually, I'm going to Rock Blast here. Get some chip on Landorus. I think it's going to be pretty useful. I like that a lot. 
ultimately we're gonna try to trap the uh the toxic packs if we can that might be something good for us to try to do zapdos comes in we go rhyperior on this i'm gonna earthquake here floor cannon we live that 100 percent of the time i just need damage on this thing because <laughs> this thing is a problem Ooh, that thing is a threat all right so pretty good so far I'm going to quick again. 95. Yeah, it's crazy. But pretty good. Getting rid of Magirna. That thing is crazy, crazy strong. Then again, now Zapdos is a pretty big threat here. Um, going to go Slowbro first. Then I go Rhyperior. Ooh, look at that chip. Look at that nice passive recovery. Yup, yup. Future Sight here. Ice Beam here. Paralyzes me. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Um, soft boiled, fully paralyzed again. Nice, nice and cured. Ah, nice and cured. I want to see a wild play. Check this wild play out. <laughs> yeah, nice and wild play. I knew he was trying to predict the uh, Corvo Knight. Ah, uh, not bad, not bad. So now Corvo Knight's role is, I mean, it still has a pretty decent role. Yo, go ahead and take more chip real quick. I'm not even going to switch. Yeah, GG, you turn out of the whole game, there it is, once again, once again. Not bad at all. I wish I could have trapped the pecs though, but didn't really get a chance with the whole Zapdos uh, lander switch out. Yo, this person's team is really looking cool. I like it. I like this team a lot. This is the kind of heat you love to see on the ladder. Kabutops, Palosand, and Exploud and stuff. I feel like this team is going to do a lot of work, because <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Um, I will lead Slowbro, and I will Future Sight turn 1 on the U-turn. Okay, so, good thing is the only Future Sight Mon is Slow King. And, um, yeah, I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go right Rhyperior on this. As the U-turns out into what? Let's see. So something's going to take a Future Sight, it's going to be Kabutops. Oh no, not yet. On the next turn, I guess. I go Slowbro here for sure, though. Flip turns out. Ooh, okay. So that's a flip turn mon. Xcloud is going to take the future sight. That's great. I love that a lot. Going to go... Um, I think I could take this hit. I don't know future sight again. He's actually predicts... Uh, I don't know what he predicts there. Corviknight, maybe? But we got the next future sight lined up. So I'm going to Scald here. I'm pretty sure this is choice specs. It has to be... It's a really interesting electric terrain team. Zapdos comes in here, so I'm pretty sure the U-turn's coming out now. We burn it though, which is fantastic. And uh, what I can do is go Lapras here on the U-turn. Check this out, right? Check this out. I go Lapras on the U-turn. He's forced to go Slowking. Yep, right into the Jaws of Fate. Now we block. <laughs> but no, he switches, unfortunately into Exploud. But we'll take this... Oh, we don't even take that well at all. Yo, that, that Pokemon is a problem. Like, Exploud is an is a whole problem. This is a Spadef Rhyperior, and Exploud is doing 41 with Boom Burst. How crazy is that? He gets up Rocks, though, but I get the next Future Sight up here. Um, yeah, that's, that's a problem. We burn it, though, so he only has one turn to live. And how do I want him... To live. I can go uh, Corviknight here should be fine. I'm not going to weaken Rhyperior too much because he still has a Tapu Koko. Yeah, so we can probably defog at some point in time as well. Koko comes in. Yeah, I'm just going to defog here, predicting U-turn. Seems pretty obvious. Yeah, exactly. So we get the defog off and the rocks are gone. So Slowking comes out here. 
I am gonna go Lapras, I think. And block this Pokemon. But Coco comes back. I'm gonna go Rhyperior. You turn once again. You turn flip turn. Really cool. Technologies. Um, superpowers here. I'm gonna go into uh, Lapras now. And then double to Slowbro. Eerie spell. Okay. <laughs> Future Sight now, and then go, uh... Hmm. Corviknight. I see Flamethrowers. And I go Lapras here, and I block. So here, he would have to try to sack something. Ooh, he... Ooh, we trap it! That's amazing. Because I, I can live a Sludge Bomb. Let's, let's trap this thing so that he can't do anything else. We uh, protect here. And then rest. Perish on the next turn. We uh, probably just stay in with this. Oh, I could have switched out, but... Um, yeah, I should have switched out, but I, I don't think it was worth it. He actually uh, went for Surf there, so... I was thinking of going Rhyperior. Nice, nice. So now what we can do is uh, can go Hyperior on the T-Bolt. I'm now free to click Stealth Rocks here. So now we can chip his whole team down as Zapdos comes in. So we, now we can go Clefable on this. And Clefable, what it can do is literally Calm Mind up and win the game, I think. Pretty sure that's what we can do. Gonna EQ here. Yeah, it's GG. So like at that point in time, once Sloking was gone, I think there's no way to win the game. Even uh even then, I think it was pretty pretty nice to see uh Lapras being able to trap and knock out the Galarian Sloking, which uh it's a pretty common Pokemon to see nowadays. But Slowbro is always nice as well. Just great to see these Pokemon put in the work. Um this guy has a Swampert, so it's looking like a pretty standard sort of uh, squad here. I do think I will lead... Hmm, so the Clefable's there, so I don't know if it's a calm mindset or not. I will lead Slowbro. As Swampert is the lead of choice, I'll Future Sight turn 1, and then uh, Scald here. He could Toxic though if he wants to. I'm gonna go Corviknight now. Yeah, that's good. Let's get some Brave Bird damage off. Um, not a fan of this Protect set. <laughs> I do kind of want to get rid of it if I can. He's going to go into his own Corviknight here. Okay, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Not sure what he's intending on doing. I think U-turn. Yeah, so he can get a bunch of chip there with the Body Press plus the Rocky Helmet. Zero Aura comes in here. Now, I don't know what he's going to do. I feel like he might just knock off here. It's probably safe for me to go Clefable because it's Fizz Def and Unaware. He close combat's predicting uh, Rhyperior, I guess. So that's pretty good. I'll just Moonblast here, I guess. Should be fine. As Cinderace comes in. Now I go slow, bro. High Jump Kick miss. I like that. I mean, it wasn't doing anything to slow, bro anyways, but that is fine. Absolutely fine. Um, gonna go Clef here and then just uh, Aromatherapy. Therapy myself. Yep. Soft boil up and then do it again. So now I go Corviknight. I guess he's not going for flip turn for some reason. I'm gonna go Lapras here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go Clef on the U-turn so I can give him more chip. Because I got, that's the benefit of having a couple Rocky Helmet users. You got lots of chip. I'm going to go Slowbro here as he gunk shots. And then I just, uh, hmm, a Future Sight. A Future Sight versus this. So something's going to have to take a Future Sight. Could be the Corviknight maybe. He's going to go for the SD and U-turn out. SD U-turn, okay, I like that. I like that. 
Kind of cool. Corver Knight comes in. It's going to take a Brave Bird plus a Future Sight. How much is that going to do? Let's see. Uh, not too much. I think it's a Spideff Corver Knight. But this lets me get a heal with uh, Clefable. He goes into his own. This makes me believe he might be... Uh... I'm going to see if I can trap this thing. Ah, I can't. <laughs> he switched out. He switched out. That is unfortunate. No longer do I have my boots. But then again, I don't need it. He gets rocks up here. Can't block this thing. Heal you turn out, I think. And he'll probably go back to... Oh, he goes Clef. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll defog. And then heal myself up. If I want to trap something, I'll need to try to find a way how to do it. He goes Cinderace here. You can just Brave Bird, honestly. <laughs> Swamper comes in, that's fine. He might go for Toxic and try to stay in. Because actually, that could be pretty good. Now that I know this Clefable is not a uh, calm mindset, I think uh, it's pretty good. If we could trap Swampert, I'll, I'll take that. I will gladly take that instead. Or maybe he goes Clef. We'll see. Now it's just Corviknight. Okay, that's fine. Um, he's faster with this. Let's see what he goes into. Rillaboom. He's making it difficult for me to try to trap something, and I want to. <laughs> like, I really want to trap something so badly. Yeah, he tries to Powerball there. That's fine. I I'm free to just Scald, I guess. Like, worst he could do is go Swampert. And then I just go Zarud and uh, heal myself up. He actually stayed in there, which is wild. So Clef is in. This is going to be an interesting game. This is definitely going to be an interesting game. <sighs> Need to find a way. I think Zarud can do it. Like, Zarud looks really good. And I just roost up here. This gives me another brave bird, I guess. Dang, back at full, I see. I see. I see. Slowbro's in now. I'm trying to get a burn on the Swamper. How many Skulls did I go for uh, versus it? Oh, I got the burn on the Flamethrower. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. I'll take that. Um, pretty good. So I can go Zarud here. Cinderace is kind of weak, which is pretty cool. That Rillaboom is going to be annoying, though. He goes zero aura on this. I know he can't knock me out in one, so I'm actually going to stay in and just destroy this thing because this zero aura is a bit of a threat. And I want it gone, and it's gone. Excellent. So now what we do is we go into... um. So we're so sort of just starting to dismantle uh, the pieces one by one on his team, which I definitely like to see. I'm going to go Slowbro here. I think he's going, uh, he actually gets rocks up here. Okay. I will defog then, gladly. The more moves you move, uh, use versus me, you get pressured, so that's good. Gunk shot and gets a critical hit. And Powerball is here. <laughs> so Cinderace is gone now. That Pokemon was annoying. So that, th that thing is out of the way. Really good. He SDs here. I'm going to roost. So he knocks. So I think he's just going all in now at this point in time, which unfortunately is not going to work versus me. So it looks like we uh, out-pressured him. So that's a good game right there. Pretty solid one overall. I was really trying hard to trap something with Lapras, but unfortunately we couldn't do it here. However, I think the whole team put in some pretty good work. We got to see some Lapras screen time as well. So I am uh, happy about that at least. At least that's a win in our books to see Lapras on the field. But maybe we could trap something here. We're up against... Uh, 
this guy who has a um, pretty interesting team. Don't think we could trap anything here. Maybe the Mew, actually. We could probably trap the Mew. Depending on what set it is. Or maybe it's just a hazard lead. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, I'll lead Zarud. And I think I'll just uh, bulk up here. Get some Power Whip chip off. And that's uh, that's some chip right there. Okay. <laughs> Not bad at all. But this does give me the defog here. So I can remove this screen and his hazards all together. That is fantastic. And give him chip as well. This Pokemon is a threat. <laughs> this thing is a huge threat. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go for the body press here. Hopefully it does a decent chunk. Good damage, good damage for sure. And I'll just go Slowbro here. Pick this off with a Scald, I believe is the play. Nice. I don't know why he tried to go for Rock Blast. I guess he tried to flinch me. <laughs> but thankfully that did not happen. Um, yeah, this Pokemon's gonna be a nuisance. Uh, what do we do? Hard right period. SD up here. I think it's a shift gear combine set, so I'm gonna earthquake now. Yep, you got scared, got scared. Excellent, excellent. So we know how to beat the Magirna. We know how to destroy it and defeat it. So Mew comes in. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, it's the cosmic power body press set. Okay, check this out, check this out. Parish song here, block. That is too much. <laughs> that is too much. Oh, but, you know, we're fine. We're fine. We can protect. We can protect. We can protect here. He gets knocked on the next turn. We go, uh, slow bro. Yes. <laughs> Lapras, come through. Come through, Lapras. We got rid of that huge threat. That Mew was a nuisance. Um, SD up here. Yup, not enough. Knock this out. Yo, thank thanks to Lapras. That Mew, I don't know if we were... I mean, we probably could have beaten it with Zerud, but still, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem. For sure. Yeah, let's go Corviknight here. He SDs up. He's an SD U-turn, though. I at least have, like, a rock move or something. I go Clef here on this. We are indeed unaware. So his Plasma Fist won't do much at all. And I think that's going to be game because we can just go... Uh, I'm going to go Slowbro here to finish him off. Yeah, good game, good game. That's a 6-0 right there. And Lapras was able to uh, eliminate a Pokemon in this game. So very happy to see it. Um, what time are we at? Yeah, let's continue on. Get uh, a couple more games here. See how we do, of course. Um, this kind of feels like a Lapras game. This definitely feels like a Lapras game here. I mean, there is a Diggersby, which is a huge threat. But otherwise, it's kind of nice. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, though. So I'm going to go Corviknight first. Just because if this thing SDs in my face, that's bad. He's U-turn. Okay, so immediately I'm relieved. Yo. <laughs> Wait just a second here. Toxic? You try to go for Toxic versus me. You're going to see the Wrath of Lapras right now, okay? The Wrath of Lapras. We're going to rest here so that I can use get the maximum uh, sleep turns. Uh, to I mean, to try to wake up, that is. Yeah, start the timer to pressure him as well. <laughs> He's going to try to calm mine. That's not going to work here. We can burn a turn of sleep now. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Yup. Perish on the next turn. Then we go slow, bro, which is a nice regen pivot. And he tries to protect, but the only thing he can protect now is the Suicune, which has already fainted. <laughs> That's it. Um, Diggersby comes in here. I, I'm going to Scald this. I think this is Choice Bandit, but it also could be Choice Scarfed. This is the perfect Lapras game. I'm so glad we got to see it. Or we get to see it, at least. I go Clef here. This is Cosmic Power? Okay, let's Aromatherapy. We, we know what to do. We know what to do. <laughs> I, don't, I know what to do here. Check this out. Check this out. Lapras. He Moonblast special attack job doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Is he going to fall for the same trick twice in a row? Let's find out. Let us find out. I don't think he does. <laughs> I'm going to protect here just to see what he wants to do. 
Um, he is going to try to taunt me. And it's going to be faster. So I will have to switch, unfortunately. Slowbro is a fine candidate to switch into. And I could drop a future site here as well and go Corviknight. Yeah, so I, I think the Skarmory is the problem, but Clef can't do anything as long as Lapras is alive. Oh, he fire punches here. Good play, good play. Very nice. Would he uh, fire punch again? I'm not sure. Goes Blissey instead. Okay, I, maybe I could have roosted, but I'll future side again to keep him on his toes. He is going to wish. And he's going to wish he never did that. Um, going to go Rhyperior. As he tries to seismic toss. I'm going to go Corviknight here. As he wishes. Yep. Now he gets a roost. Diggersby is still alive and healthy. I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to body press here. Because if he fire punches, which he does, we'll eat it up. And we get to, um, a nice amount of damage on this. It's pretty good. So here's what I do, right? Here's what I do. I go uh, slow, bro. Double the Corviknight on Blissey, which does come in. Then Roost. So this is great now because if he goes for a Wish... We can just body press, and he can't go safely into Diggersby. So body press, here's the play. And he goes Chansey instead. Now, do you have Teleport? <laughs> I don't believe you have Teleport. I know one of you doesn't have Teleport. Yeah, he's scared, so he's going Skarmory each time. Um... Which is understandable. I only have four blocks though. That's crazy. Maybe that's why I have. Maybe that's why Whirlpool is pretty useful. But like, I don't miss. So at least it's good in that regard. I'm gonna go. Um, I think uh, Slowbro here. I'm gonna try to get some rocks up. Let's get some rocks up here. So let's let's uh, let's throw up these rocks. That's gonna be useful for Zerud. Later on. I'm gonna earthquake here. As Skarmory comes in. Beautiful, beautiful. Into Slowbro we go. And he defogs, so I'm gonna double back into Rhyperior. As Diggersby comes in. Okay. I have faith that I can live this attack. But he, but he switches out. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Let's SD up here. Rock Blast. Oh, he stays in. Ooh. Counters. I see. Okay, I, I, I see what I must do. That's kind of... It's kind of scary. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you don't have counter on this thing. You just have body press. Okay, that's fine. This is doing some clean damage, but only two hits. Allow me to get more damage on you, please. Lives on one. He roosted. Yes. Yes. That thing is gone. So now that thing being gone is amazing. Amazing for us. I don't think I need this anymore. Let him earthquake us there. Then I go Corviknight. And then, <laughs> I, could, I, mean, I guess I could go Lapras here, right? <laughs> kind of the, the best play. Diggersby is forced in, but it only has two rounds of Rocket Helmet that I can take. Earthquakes, yes, that's fine, that's fine. Blissey comes in, so now you're just going to have to take a bunch of damage. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Ah, he's Wish Protect. I see. I see. Then I go Zerud here, then I bulk up. I don't think his Clefable would be unaware. Because he has... Uh, I forgot if it took damage or not, I'm not sure. But I'll Power Whip here. 
Hmm. That is unaware. <laughs> yep. Indeed. So how do I beat the unaware cliff? Let's see. 45 plus burn. This actually might 2 hit KO, maybe. He cosmic powers, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my blocks. I know I know now I can't waste my blocks on, on this thing. I'm just hoping it goes for fire punch. Like sooner or later he has to get tired of it. Goes blissy. Ooh, get a nice power up on that. Beautiful, beautiful. Then I bulk up here. So he's forced to protect, which he does. Now, I don't think he has the safest switch in. Clef comes in, but look at that damage right there. That is beautiful. That's in range. That is in range. <laughs> Gone. Chansey comes in now. I, I think he actually might be able to counter and knock me out, so I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up. GG, good game, good game. Yo, this was a great Lapras game. This was an absolutely fantastic one. Once he caught on to Lapras, then it was a little bit tougher, but the Suicune, getting that thing knocked out by Lapras? That was crazy. That was wild. Okay, I'm happy about that for sure. Hope you all enjoyed that game. I mean, that was that was great. But um, yeah, maybe we can get like one more or so. I think that should uh, suffice for this video. Up against uh, Rillaboom team. Standard Mons, of course. You already know. I like making teams that sort of do well versus these uh, common teams you see every day. But look, the Pex is here. Could also trap the Celestila. Okay, this is a very high potential game. Let's block. Yo, please stay in, please, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> Toxapex is gone. We trapped it. <laughs> this doesn't look so good for Pex, does it? Ah, <laughs> uh, not bad. Yeah, I can just uh, rest here. Um, protect is fine too, I guess. And then we switch out into Corviknight to Defog. So this is looking great. So he knocks off, perished, gone. In comes Magirna. I'm not sure what set he would be on this Pokemon. But I don't have a great switch in. I'm going to Defog. Because I need these T-Spikes gone. He Vol switches out. That is quite a bit of damage, but I think I can roost it off later on. I should be able to roost it. Um, he goes to Root here. And that looks like a spec Shadow Ball to me. So what I want to do now is I want to... Um, jungle Healing... Go slow bro here. As the ice beams predicting a superior, that's pretty good. I can now um, double to Clefable. As he has actually not choice specs. Okay, that's just powerful. Interesting. Um, gonna go Corviknight here. As he wood hammers. Hopefully that's a roll. Nah, it's not. Okay. So then I go Zerud and then I go Clef here. Mm-hmm. I can aromatherapy now. And Steela comes in. So now Steela's a threat. Most certainly is a threat. Would he would he give me this thing? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> uh, but he ice beams here. I can get rocks up now. Actually I'll earthquake. Nobody goes Rilla Boom. Mm, it was going well, but those T-spikes were annoying. Yeah, he superpowers here. So I can go slow bro now and then future sight. As Spectrier comes in. 
That is too much. We burn it though, which is nice, at least. And then Magirna comes in. Still gonna go Rhyperior. I think is definitely the play. And he gets me damage on this. Actually, that's really good for... um. For Zarude, that's amazing for Zarude. Yeah, this is good, this is good. Mm-hmm, perfect, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> the nice little fake out right there. I like that. Um, and then what we do is we sack Rhyperior, because we need Slowbro uh, healthy. Go Zarude here, Darkest Lariat is the play. As he goes Rillaboom, he would superpower here. He could also U-turn. I think he goes slow, bro. He would hammer straight up. Okay. This gives us the bulk up, I think, that we need. Um, we should be able to beat this, I think. Toxic doesn't matter because we have jungle healing. Which we can just go for right now, I guess. Um, Lucha has already burnt up its item now. SD's up. We have to Moonblast here. I think would be our play. So that thing is gone. And then... Um, goes the root here. And then bulk up. As Rillaboom comes in. Plus one Darkest, I think... Actually, here's the play. I think here's the play. We go Clefable here. On the superpower. Give him Rocky Helmet Chip. Softboiled up here. Now he's weak. Now he's weak. Okay, this is good. This is good. Now we bulk up. Now I think we win the game now for sure. Um, Cause he's at 35. Though he burns me, it shouldn't matter actually because I'm pretty sure we can jungle healing and we'll live, we'll live this hit I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Knock this out. And then we just jungle healing ourselves back up to win the game I think. Yeah, and he can't poison us either. That was a really good game for sure. Um, oh shoot, no, please don't crit me. Please, 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 please. I need to heal. Um, I have to bulk up once. I'm not doing enough damage right now. Yeah, the poison shouldn't matter either. Um, he has nine heavy slams. I bulk up here. Heal, please. Alright, Darkest Larry should 2 a KO now. That's actually kind of close. I'll jungle now. Yep. Now we should win the game. Yeah, good game, good game. Solid game overall. And I think that's where we're going to end up for this one. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Some pretty tough games overall, but really fun ones at that. Lapras is a tricky Pokemon to use if your opponent knows how to play around it. But we got some really solid KOs with Lapras, with the Paris Trap, so I'm really happy about that. But like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments what your favorite um, Pokemon from the original 151 is. I'd like to know. Just, uh, I think it's really cool, like, you know, these types of Pokemon can still work. Like, you know, Slowbro has been fantastic. It's still, like, one of the best mons in Clefable as well. But Lapras, really fun mon to use. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. So I'll see you all on the next video, and peace.